Hello everybody, Jack the Rail Fan here. As you can see, we've moved the 1957 Chevy 5400. That's where it was, we just needed the spot clear for some other jobs. But now you can really see how much nicer the front looks. That spot used to be a whole lot more red. Now you can more clearly see that it used to be blue. That bar across the front. And right over here, partially thanks to my brother, mostly blue on this side. We've put the seat back in the cab, not bolted in, we just had to protect it from the snow. And it looks a lot worse than it is, especially over there. But it's doing alright. And as you can see, I've removed the switch panel in the middle of the dashboard. That was never supposed to be there when it left the factory. And what's supposed to be there was a radio that's proven by a hole up there where the speaker's supposed to go. So I just took them all out because with my electrical repairs I was doing, it was so hard to see what I was doing, I just had to take it all out. It was much easier that way. And there's the panel with all the switches on it. I'll make sure I can run the headlights very soon. And I will put the panel back with less switches on it just to cover the hole. But for now, that's what it looks like. This is where one of those homemade circuit boards was, made of wood and some wood screws that rusted. And this is where a disconnect plug would have come down from the cab and connected with another one for the front body panels, instead of having such a mess of wires. I cut them right where the other guy cut them, where they used to go into the plug. And at some point, I'll find myself a plug and basically set the truck back to the way it was supposed to be. I've made a repair by the resistor. Not a very good repair, just a good enough repair to get it started, hopefully. And I have figured out where the problem lies with the rest of the electrical system. The battery cable that hooks to the ground on the battery and goes from the engine and then to the frame and the bodywork gives it all ground to the battery so it can run at all, may very well not be providing any ground at all because of how dirty it is. I got that idea from my grandpa, so thanks to him I might have this truck running as soon as I can get that cleaned. These are the two homemade circuit boards that were in the truck, causing all of the confusion with the wires. I just couldn't figure out what anything was with these in there and they aren't going to be in there once it's running anyway. It would have gone with an independent switch to every light bulb on the truck as well as the horn and the amp meter on the dashboard. That's completely unnecessary as far as I'm concerned, so I will just run a single switch to the headlights, maybe the horn, and call it a day because it'll only be a farm truck for now. And by the time it's ready to go on the road one day, I will have gotten some replacement switches that were once on a truck this age. I've also been working on a drawing of the truck, soon to be colored in, as well as a 1960 Ford F600 Semi. As you can see, I've already drawn the Ford F600 logo above that truck, so very soon I will draw a Chevrolet 5400 emblem that would be in the same place on this truck. So that'll be the end of this update. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos whenever they come up, and hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I put out a new video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!